Terry on Arnold is with us now, the newest Detroit Lion with us. On the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline, what is up, Terry on? How are you? What's up, y'all? I, Long time no see. I know. It's good to see you again. We are uh, thrilled that you got drafted by the Lions. Everybody up here was pulling for it. I talked to you yesterday, and I said, obviously, I wanted you to go as early as possible. But when the Lions picked you, for you to get that moment on the stage with those Detroit fans was incredible to watch. I can only imagine how great it was for you. It was amazing. I mean, <laughs> all my teammates from Alabama, they were like, Terry on would be the one to get drafted. What a draft is that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, how much conversation did you have with Brad Holmes and with Dan Campbell and with that organization? Um, I went on a visit there. And honestly, they told me, they said, you're one of those guys we have to trade up to get. But uh, – our paths may cross, and uh, we don't think we'll be able to get you. And um, my agent, Nicole, she did a very great job of just uh, – she actually texted me that following morning and said, hey, you know it's a heavy O-line receiver, uh, quarterback, heavy offensive draft class, man. Y'all uh, y'all might have a chance. And then just from going back and talking to them, they, uh, they knew that the Raiders, it was a possibility that they took me, and actually the Raiders coach, they called me after the draft. And they were like, you know, we actually uh, had a coin toss between you and Brock Bowers and landed on him. I was like, oh, wow. And then after the Raiders passed, they said, okay, we got to get up there before Jacksonville. So, uh, uh, actually, Brad, he was like, they were trying to trade all the way up to uh, 15, 16 to get him. So, I mean, it's just one of those things where you go where you're wanted. And uh, that right there, man, that fit. And as far as how the fans are, schemes that they run, and just even being around guys like Jamo, Jameer, especially Brian. Like, man, it's, it was a dream come true for me. Yeah, a lot of uh, Alabama fans are buying Detroit Lions gear because it's Alabama North right now up there. Uh, half a million people, a little over half a million people are out there. You, I would imagine when you were looking out at the draft, you couldn't see the end of humanity. It was people as far as you could see. <laughs> uh, could you just take me back to that moment? You're so great with words. And just share with me the love and the vibe you were feeling when you looked out over half a million people? With me, I got away with words. And um, I always know the right thing to say. But uh, my uncle, he said that was the first time in my life he had ever seen me speechless. Like, when I grabbed the mic, I was like, I'm home. But uh, it was one of those things where you could almost feel like the energy. Almost like being in Brian Denny when they started singing Dixieland Delight. Like, you just feel it in your spirit. <laughs> and uh, when they started chanting my name, I was like, wow. That's what, made, that's what literally made me say I'm home because it was like, Wow, like you hear all those people chanting your name. And then, I mean, after the draft, uh, well, after I got selected, I was able to walk down. You had to take your picture, obviously. And after that, I went down to the crowd. So when I go down, there's me and Jay Mill. So me and Jay Mill, I mean, I got the chance to spend a moment with my best friend and uh, just being around him. As I was shaking the people's hands, uh, one of them, the people, they were like, man, let them crowd, sir. Let them crowd, sir. I look at the security dude. I was like, hey, man, let me crowd, sir. He says, um... Nah, you can't. You can't go past the gate. I say, why, man? These are my people. He said, Nah, if you go past this gate, I don't think you're gonna come back alive. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So, uh, Terry on Arnold with us on the uh, JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. What has been the most meaningful person to reach out to you after being drafted to congratulate you? Probably Barry Sanders. Wow. wow. I mean, that is. Lions royalty. Barry Sanders called you, huh? Yeah. He uh well at first he texted me on Twitter. He was like, um, you know, uh well he had to um he was at the draft. Yeah. So when he was at the draft, you know, he's just walking by and my family was like, Man, that's Barry Sanders. I was like, Oh man, yeah, that is Barry Sanders. Pretty cool. And my aunt was like, You should get a picture with him. I was like, um I don't know why I need to get a picture with him. Looking back at it, I should have got a picture with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll get your chance. Yes. You'll get your chance. Yeah. How, how much have you seen the city, and, and when do you start, like, looking for a place to live? Uh, when I go back, see, right now I'm, I'm back at home training and stuff. But uh, when rookie minicamp starts, you go up there, and um, you, you kind of just get recommendations from certain people. Like, I know certain areas where I should be, where I shouldn't be, and different things like that, but um, – you kind of let your people deal with that. Like, my biggest thing is I'm, I'm ready to establish myself. Like, you know, my goal is when a Super Bowl, like, getting there, it's almost like I told them it was the best thing as far as coming to Alabama because they're right on the verge and they demand excellence. And, you know, they're trying to get over that hump. And then with them even having the knock as far as 
And, you know, their secondary wasn't that good or their secondary this and that. It's the same thing when I came in Alabama. It was like, okay, uh, Kool-Aid and my, our freshman year, we were knocked by how bad our secondary was. And then our sophomore year, we were really knocked, especially when Jalen Hyatt went off against Tennessee. So coming in, me and Kool-Aid, our mindset was junior year, we ain't going for none of that. Forming the best cornerback tandem in college football. So with that being said, just going in there, like that's that's where my focus has been. And then back to what you said, as far as like talking to Barry, he was like, you know, man, that's one thing Detroit has never had, a Super Bowl. So, uh, you know, just you coming in ready to work. And then he said, I mean, I mean, everybody has been saying it lately, but I don't really see it. Like, he's like, man, you know, you just remind me of Deion Sanders. Like, not only are you electric on the field, but like your personality off the field, just how it carries and you impact people. And he was like, where do you get that from? I was like, Barry, I'm going to just be real with you, man. I just be myself. That's all I do. Yeah. I, I, I know you guys – know this because you're great football fans but so you'll be working every thanksgiving the rest of your professional career you're, you're playing on thanksgiving morning <laughs> on thanksgiving day do you guys have a plan yet will you have thanksgiving after your game and gather around the arnold family table or will you do it on friday uh how, how will you attack thanksgiving i'm always fascinated about lions players because they know they're playing at that early game every thanksgiving day have you guys talked about it yet on how you're going to handle thanksgiving Oh, we're going up that night. Yeah, that's the night. Get, hey, after that, after that game, I go out. Hopefully, I catch the pick. Hey, if I catch the pick, make sure y'all rewind it. Hopefully, yeah. I catch the pick. <laughs> we're going up that night. And the game ball gonna be right there, man. We don't need the turkey. We hey, that ball, that pig skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, but you are joining the Lions. I would say Rockstar is a lifelong Lions fan. This is the greatest moment in Lions history. Oh, yeah. I mean, you are joining them at the peak of their franchise. That's that's what's incredible about this. Oh, man, and then I'm coming in there to make a difference. Well, we, uh, I just told them from the from the jump, I want to be one of those guys that's a fan favorite. Like I, I, I said when I was there, like I meant, I said Detroit, y'all got a star. Uh, hopefully, uh, in my in my career in Detroit, I mean, you never know what can happen. But I think just as far as in my spirit, as far as the fit, the fans, it's almost like Alabama without an expiration date. Obviously, in college, you had you had a time where you had to leave up there, and I ain't got no expiration date. When I'm done with it, I'm done with it, and I don't think I'll be done with it for a long time. I, I don't know how much NFL you watched in the past, but you've got a head coach in Dan Campbell that talked about eating people's kneecaps. Uh, how much interaction have you had with Dan Campbell? Uh, when I first saw him at the uh, combine, he was sitting down. So I walk in the room and he stood up. I was like, oh, shoot. God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was like, I thought he was like the strength and conditioning coach or something like that. <laughs> dude, uh, had, dude had a massive lipper on draft night. Like when they're drafting you, they cut to the war room. And I mean, it was out to here. He's got a spit cup water, spit cup water. Uh, he was oh, pumped man. up too, yeah. man. He was pumped up. Yeah. Even even like even Brad like when he got dragged a lot, you would have thought they won a Super Bowl like that right there. I, I told them in my press conference, I said, "Man, that doesn't go forget uh, forgotten. Or I'll never forget that." Like they traded up to get me, traded a whole third round pick. Like in the draft, that's equivalent to millions of dollars. So when I come in there, when I'm tired or I feel like I can make the next step or give it that much more, like that's what motivates you to even want to do that. Okay, when I think stuff like that for lightly. When I think of uh when I think of Link, I think of you and, and, and Jalen. Uh you won't be there this year. Is there a passing of the Link torch? Is, do do you have you ordained someone else to join Jalen as Link brothers this year to to lead Alabama football? Have you slid somebody into your position to ride with Jay Jay Milrow? Jay Mill is my brother. So as far as me passing that Link torch, never. There is none of that. No. I'm still there in spirit. If we need a FaceTime so I get a team of speech before the game, we can do that. But that link right there, oh, yeah. Matter of fact, while we had a hey, 50% of the link is in Alabama, the other 50% is in Detroit. So when I when I drop this link merch, you know, they're going to get it. Cause in Detroit, we're going to let them naysayers know, too. Hey, ain't none of that. Hey, ain't none of that, dog. And actually, hey, hey, my, hey, while we at it, you know what? Look, cause since you guys are my guys, and I'm real tight with Ryan. I just share some inside information that nobody knows about, and they can only see the day on your show. So, Walker Hayes, country singer. We got a Lank song coming out. Uh, okay, you said we. Are you and J-Mill we. on it? Are you and J-Mill on the song? 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Walker Hayes, J. Mill, and Terion Arnold are releasing a country song. That is whoa, amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Look, look. You said it wrong. Terion Arnold, Walker Hayes. <laughs> Taylor Mural are releasing <laughs> My apologies. Hey, okay, my apologies. Featuring. <laughs> featuring. Featuring. Yeah, they, yeah, they, got, they, got, they, got, they got the feature. <laughs> Terry on Arnold featuring J. Bill and Walker Hayes. Got it now. Uh, <laughs> you're a Southern guy, though. How bad are you going to hate the cold, man? I cannot imagine living up there. I know you guys play in a dome, which is good, but you are going to have to hit those streets sometimes. Hey, man. One thing about it, when you're a competitor and you're that dog, none of that stuff matters. I'm going to be out there freezing. But I'm a dog, so it don't matter. You put on my little long sleeves, and I'm going to go out there and go to war. Strap my helmet on, lace up my boots, look in the mirror, scream a couple times, and go out there and, and go do it. But but how, I mean, back to it, Walker Hayes, do you reach out to him? Do, do you guys have the same uh, representation and the same firm? I mean, where's the connection? <laughs> kind of funny. Connection actually is uh, Krista. Oh, Kristen Saban, yeah. coach's daughter. Yeah, yeah. so she, my sister, man. I know, I know, but she, so she knew Walker Hayes, and she connected you guys. Works yeah, out good. Works okay. out good. All right. Yeah. Um. So you promised me that after you start this music career, you and Mill Road, that y'all will not end up like Kendrick and Drake. There'll never be. There'll never be a fight between <laughs> you two. <now. laughs> look, 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 look. As far as the feature with Jay Mill, he just might say a couple of words. As far as the actual song goes, it's going to be me and Walker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. So <laughs> have, have we hit the studio yet? I mean, like, how far in the works is this thing, and when should we expect something uh, to come out? Hey, look, man. I already gave y'all enough gems, man. I got to work. At the same okay. time, I still got to okay. balance training camp. I got I to gotta right. establish myself with my new team. But just know, before the summer mm-hmm. over, Okay. Gotcha. Well, okay. I'm just All saying, right. you, you compared or somebody compared you to Deion Sanders. This is a guy that played on an NFL Sunday and then flew a private jet and played in a World Series game the same day. So I think you, right. yeah, a yeah. lot of stuff on your plate. I think you can balance it, though. I can. I can. <laughs> All right. We, uh, we are Lions fans because of Terry on Arnold. We love you. You know we love you. And we are so excited for you, man. We appreciate the time. Yes, sir.